Damon here for Cool Art Stuff for Kids. Today we're going to do a project that I call Fishy Business because it's a fish. Beautiful, colorful fish. Can be made from construction paper if you've got that handy at home. 9 by 12 size or 8.5 by 11, I guess. And uh, Or you can use the foam that you would get at uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and sometimes the dollar store even has a, a really good deal. I guess I should say the dollar twenty nine store now. Um, but anyway, you can get a lot of beautiful, colorful foam. And that's what I'm gonna use today. Um, however, this one was made out of construction paper, and uh, if there's teachers out there who like this project, kids really have a lot of fun making this one. And then I usually had them hole punch it right about there, and they can hang them you know, all over the place in the in the art room or in the classroom. Or they can just play with them or they can take them home. All right, here we go. Step number one. I've got my eight and a half by 11 or nine by 12, I'm not sure which size it is. Here's my foam piece. And the first thing you do is you fold it in half, hot dog style, right? Not hamburger, hot dog, long and skinny. And at one end, uh, just kind of crease it just a little bit so we know where that end is. And then we're gonna take our scissors and cut a piece out of here. Um, how much do you cut? That's kind of up to you, but I usually plan it out with pencil first. And here's my fold, right? I'm gonna go about, ew, I'd say an inch and a half up, or maybe an inch. And I'm gonna make a line that goes across, maybe down, maybe it wiggles a little bit and then goes off. So about halfway, Right, this is about the same distance here and about an inch and a quarter this way and then holding the foam or the paper like this We're gonna cut both cut through both pieces just like this and this foam cuts just like butter almost Get a nice straight cut and then Do that at the end which leaves me these two extra pieces that were right here which can become, if you want the pictorial fins of the fish the same color, you've already got something started to do that with. And I have templates in my kit to show you um, all the different things. So this is what we just did, the body of the fish, right? And that's in my directions. And then I have a template for pictorial fin, tail fin. Um, what else do we have? The jaw and... Uh, I think that's it. All the fins that are involved in the jaw piece. That comes in my kit. And also in my kit with some foam to make the fish are some step-by-step -step directions. Uh, but I'm telling you everything right now. So did you notice I didn't crease this all the way down? And that's really important with a piece of paper that you don't, you can do this part at the tail section, but don't like crease it all the way down. Uh, therefore it won't keep that nice round shape that his mouth and body have. Okay, so try to remember that. Um, you can also decorate the foam before you put the fish together if you'd like. Um, on this construction paper one, you can see I did some eyes. Um, I planned out where the center part was. I actually did cheat a little bit. I folded this like that, and then I just lightly drew where the thought the middle was. So the middle's about right there. So I didn't, didn't fold my paper, but I found out where the middle was so that I can put an eye on either side of that center point. Okay? And then I freehanded this, I freehanded this, did this, did this, I did all the designs around here, I did the scaly things. So you can do all that while it's not put together around, it's still flat. Once that's done, on the paper one or the foam one, you might wanna cut on that center line because we're gonna stick a tail in there in just a minute. So we're gonna need that slot cut, right? Looks like that. Okay, now, uh, on my fish, uh, I've taken, instead of drawing eyes, I've taken some green foam, about this size, and uh, I'm gonna actually cut the inside circle out of this, so I'm gonna fold it in half and carefully snip, snip, snip make a green, a darker green ring to go against the light green body of the fish, boom. And there we go, right? And I actually pre-cut one ahead of time, so I've got, whoops, I've got one for each side. As a matter of fact, this one has 
a black eye in the middle with a white background. Can you see how I glued paper on the back of that? Which is what I'm gonna do right now so that I can glue these in position, just like that. Um, I, hey, stay put. I also have another one of those and I need some white paper. So I'm gonna quickly just rip a piece off because there's none handy right now. I'm just gonna use this, my hot glue gun, again. For the foam, you need to use hot glue. So uh, if you're a younger kid, please, uh, please have a parent help you with this. You know, maybe third grade and above can do this, but you still have to be careful if you're third or fourth grade. So I'm gonna plop this on my white paper, boom, just like that. And then I'm gonna cut out the white, like so. Really tight against my green edge. Oh, come on, there we go. Oh, I'm taking some of the green with me, that's okay. It is not a perfect science. There we go. This guy's ready to go. Hot glue dabble, do ya? Doesn't take much. And I'm gonna put this guy right about here. Boom. All right. And actually, there, on either side. Again, looking for the center, which is about right here. Oh, isn't that fun when the hot glue gun strands catch on something and then you automatically move those pieces? It's like magic, right? Okay, so I'm looking about right there, but I think I want the eyeballs to look in the same direction. There, kind of like that. Okay, you can situate them any way you want. I'm gonna go right about there. Get these glued on. Stay there. Boom, and here. Second boom, boom. Oh, he's looking at two different directions. Well, kind of looking straight forward. Okay, and now, all the way down, I'm going to put for his pattern, instead of drawing a pattern like I did on the construction paper one, I'm going to go like this and add some funky blue and orange pattern things that I've cut ahead of time and decorate my fish with these. All the way down his body, maybe a dark blue one here. You can decorate yours any way you like. Again, I had all the orange dots in place before I... Right. This is gonna be my design versus the one on construction paper, which looks like this. So I'm gonna get this out of here. So again, we're gonna bring this together, find the middle. Get all these stringy hot glue guys off, and then cut a slat, slot, that is. Make sure that's nice and centered in the middle. And then we're gonna cut a slot right there. And that's where my tail is gonna go. Okay, now, to form, to form the fish, we're gonna bring this and this together and kind of overlap them. You can have a really small mouth. Well, that looks kind of good. Uh, maybe I'll widen it a little bit like that. With me so far? And the lower jaw piece is gonna go here. So I don't wanna make this, ooh, actually, that looks really good, right where it is. I'm gonna hold that tight, and while I'm holding it, I'm gonna go underneath the one piece of foam with my glue gun. Don't get your finger, Damon. There you go, put a little glue, a little dab will do you. Smoosh it together. Ah, got myself, be careful. Okay, there he is. So far, so good. Right. And then I'm actually gonna grab a tail that I pre-cut from my patterns. Remember, I showed you my patterns, and there's my tail fin pattern. It's kind of big, but it'll look good, trust me. And here is what it looked like when I shaped it to cut it out. And that's gonna go back here, just like that. You get the whole picture here, right? Oh, I like the way he's shaping up. Very nice. Good work. Okay, so we're gonna go here and here and put the tail fin in there. Um, I kinda like this side up. There we go. Now, one thing I didn't do on this guy is trim this up a bit and make it a little more interesting instead of just ending like like it got cut off with scissors. So we are going to uh, maybe go like this, as long as I didn't totally 
glue it down. Oh, there we go. Go, go, go. There we are. There, that looks better. A little more glue under here. Boop. Hold that steady. Flip her over. Do the same thing if I can. Uh, come on. Fumbling around with these scissors. Ah, pretty good. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, there we go. Now we're looking good. Right? Okay. Now, some people like to even glue a little bit of this so their fish is a little skinnier. Trimmer. But, you know, I'll leave that up to you. I'm going to leave it wide for right now because I like my fish to be kind of wide. Then, the jaw piece. Sometimes this can be a contrasting color. For this one, I already have one that's cut out. Um, and you can see on my, here's my pattern, right? So when you get these patterns for my kit, if you order it, you can cut these out and trace around them, right? Onto the foam. That's the idea. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. Don't rip it in part, but just kind of take your thumb and do that. See what's happening there? It's curving the jaw up, right? So that when I glue it in place here, he automatically kind of goes up and has a curved look to him. All right, so I'm going to hold that steady while I glue this under here by that blue and orange spot. A little juice there, a little juice there. Hold that in place. And then I'll go to the other side and do the other one. Flipping this over. This is still loose. A little Hot glue gun juice there. Kids have a tendency to put way too much of this on, so it doesn't take a whole lot of glue to hold it in place if you just hold it for like, be patient and hold it for a, a good amount of time, like a 10 count or something, and it should be in place. There we go. Oh yeah, the mouth, oh look at that, the mouth looks great. Yeah, so do the dots. Okay, almost, almost done. I'm gonna take more of that hot glue gun stuff off. You know what, I might even do, let's see, if I do that, is that cool? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the other side. You could, if you wanted to, hot glue gun that. I might just leave it loose. All right. Now, um, the, the side fins, I call them pectoral fins, because this is sort of the chest of the chest of the beast. So I cut out two this shape. One, and I have the other one over there to the side. And I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to squeeze this together. See see what part, portion, portion I'm squeezing? Taking this and this and joining together. A little bit of hot glue. Not a whole lot. And then I'm going to squeeze it without burning myself. And then I'm going to take a handy dandy clamp and clamp that and let that set, set that aside to dry. And I'll bring on my other one that I used earlier. Here he is. So there's where I clamped it and glued it. And then I added these two orange spiny things just for a little added flavor and uh, it adds accents as an accent that matches the dots on the blue guy here. And uh, I glued those in. So these are gonna go, let's see, how will that look? See if I can get that on the camera. Oh yeah, I think that's where it's gonna go. Right there, so I've got it in my hand. I'm holding it and I'm gonna, again, take my glue gun. Don't get zapped. Okay. And then press that in place and hold it. I think I got a little carried away with my glue. It's squeezing, squeeze, squishing out, but that's all right, let that dry. And while that's drying, I'll get rid of some of these excess strings of hot glue. I'm still holding it, still holding it. It'd be hard to clamp it and get in there, so I'm just going to hold it with my thumb and my fingers inside the fish. That should do it. Yeah, not totally dry, but it looks, looks pretty good. Flip it to the other side. Um, this one's about done. I'm going to take, I have two more orange spiny things cut out, and I'm going to add those to this. Oh yeah, that's, that's stuck in there good. A little glue on this. And this is going to go in here. Oh, get in there, get in there, get in there. 
Good enough. And the second one, a little bit of glue there. And he's gonna go here. Oh, yeah, I like it. Oh, my finger's caught. Boom, there we are. So that one's ready to go on the opposite side of this one. And then you might want to, if I can do this, look down at your fish and see where this one's gonna go to line up equally with that one. Oh, that looks pretty good. I might wanna go up a little higher here. You can also look at it from the bottom. That might be easier. I think I'm in the right spot. Okay, here we go. A little more glue underneath this. Again, not too much, but enough to hold it. And ah, there we go. And we'll just hold that until it's done. Okay, almost done. The top fin is probably the, ch the, the hardest part of this guy. It's getting that top fin, to, the dorsal fin to stay. So a little more glue here. Take that off of there. Okay, now he's looking. Now he's looking like a fish, right? We need that top dorsal fin. A few more blue and orange guys here. While I've got my glue stick handy, I'm gonna do that. Put that guy right there. Uh, squish. Maybe put one on this side. Oh, he actually can stand up on his fins. Look at that. This guy goes here. There we go, a couple more. They're getting smaller as they go back towards his tail. One on this side. This size. There we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the dorsal fin, the fin that goes across the top. Here's our pattern. You don't have to make it exactly like this, do you, kids? You can make up your own if you want, but this is the one that I came up with. Looks about like that. And you might ask, what are these for? If you're making out of paper, you can fold these and then, where's my guy? And then glue them down. See how there's one, a tab here and a tab here, and then one on the opposite side. And you can hold your fin onto your fish like that. But with the foam one, that's kind of hard to fold these. So I might just cut those off. I don't need those on this, I don't think. And if I do, I've made a terrible mistake. Here we go. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, believe me. Okay, there we go. So this is gonna go bam, like this. And I think we're just gonna run a bead of hot glue along the bottom of this and hope that that's gonna be enough to hold her in place. Gotta be kinda quick as you do this and not too sloppy. Come on, stay on line here. I don't wanna have to glob up the glue on here. Takes a little bit of skill to do that and then while it's still wet and still hot, I'm gonna go right about here. Get, oh, whoop, whoop. There we go. I'm just holding it in place, letting the glue do its thing. Come on. There we go. I think, by Jove, I've got it. What's missing? Nothing. Let's look at this up this way. We'll do that. And then we can get a better look at this guy. Here we go. Wow. Tell you what, I'm even impressed. There you go, colorful funny and whimsical fishy business guy. Got a few more strands of hot glue hanging here, which can be cleaned up later. But I am done. Damon is out of here. And uh, I really like this guy. So have fun. Stay safe. Bye-bye for now. Back again with the fishy business project. So if you saw what you liked in the demonstration and you want to order my fishy business pack, notice I've added nostrils to him. I had extra blue dots left, blue and orange dots, so I made nostrils for him. Gives him a better fish-like kind of appearance. And then I added a fishing line so I can hang him and he can just amaze everyone as he floats through the air. 
Okay, so if you like that one and you want to order one, you can go to Damon's Art 3 at gmail.com. Damon's Art 3 at gmail.com. And the Fishy Business Pack is $12.95. That includes shipping and handling. Coming right back out to you. As soon as you email me and let me know that's what you want, the Fishy Business Pack. Um, I can send you my Venmo information or my PayPal, however you want to work that out with your parents, and uh, then I will shoot that packet out to you as soon as possible ASAP. Don't forget, let your parents know about my fine art website, DamonReinigle.com. DamonReinigle.com. Spell it correctly, and you'll go there, and you'll see also some ocean fish and some really cool marine life. So... So long for now.